Hello everyone, I am Raghav and today we are going to learn about desired capabilities in Selenium. So we will see what is desired capabilities and how do you use desired capabilities in your Selenium projects. So let's get started and if we have to desi define desired capabilities then it is a class in Selenium library and to be more specific it is a class under the desired capabilities package. So if I go to my browser and just say desired capabilities in selenium and hit enter I will get some of these options so let me just take you to this desired capabilities page and this github page so here it will be more clear what desired capabilities is so let me just wait for this page to be up yes so this is the documentation so this is the class desired capabilities in the org openqa.selenium.remote package and here you can see it extends mutable capabilities and here you can see all the methods and functions of this particular class and here this is the github page now I will provide all these links in the description section of this video so you can get these links from there as well and here is the introduction of desired capabilities and you can see basically it is a key value pair which is used to set different properties for the browser like browser name version platform etc and then there are some read only capabilities like handle alerts CSS selectors then read write capabilities suppose you want the JavaScript to be enabled or disabled uh, database enabled disabled etc and so on so you can see all this and then you can see the Chrome specific and then Firefox specific and then Internet Explorer specific so for example in IE when you are working with an Internet Explorer browser and you want to ignore protected mode settings and ignore zoom settings and so on you can set this capabilities so we will see a practical so let me just go back and uh, complete this what is desired capability so we know this is a series of key value pairs and then it is used to set properties for browsers like browser name platform version etc and many different properties let us now see a very quick practical example so I will go to my Eclipse IDE and this is the project that we have been creating and here let me just quickly create a class I will do a right click new and create a class and I will say this is desired capabilities demo and let me also click on this public main so it will automatically create a main function for me and yes so this is a simple class and I can start writing my code here so let me just take some help from my earlier code where I have set this browser so just to set the browser I am using this and I have to set a I am I will use an Internet Explorer browser so I will just use this particular code here okay so you can see until now what I have done is I am just setting the browser for IE okay so here I am getting the project path this is not required so that I get the path of my project here which is the which will be the location of my project and I am using this here so I am saying webdriver.ie.driver and then setting the path for the IE driver which I have saved here so you can see the drivers I have this IE driver here so I am just setting this path of the this IE driver server.exe in the webdriver.ie driver okay and then I am saying webdriver driver equals new internet explorer driver so let me import the missing imports I will import webdriver from here and I will import internet explorer again from org open QA okay and now I can create a very simple test so I will say driver dot get and I will go to https google.com and then I have to write something in the text box so I will say driver dot find element by dot name and I know the name of the text box is Q so if you want you can just go to your google.com and here this is the text box if I right click and say inspect here I can see the name is Q right the name of this text box is Q and again if I have to search for this button I will say inspect 
and here I know the name is btnk so this we have already seen earlier as well so I will be very fast here I am saying find element by name q and here I am saying send keys uh, anything let me just write abcd here and then I am saying driver dot driver dot find element by dot name so I have to find the search button and the name for the search button is the name attribute is btnk and here I can say dot click but because with experience we know that the search button is uh, overlapped by the search results so the better option is I will say send keys and I will say keys dot return which is equivalent to pressing of the keyboard key the enter key on the keyboard so this is a simple test and then I will say driver dot close and driver dot quit okay now this is our simple uh, program or a simple script to go to Internet Explorer go to google.com and then type ABCD in the search box and hit the enter key if I run this let me just try to run this run as Java application okay now see we got some error if you go here now you see here we have unexpected error and it says protected mode setting is not same for all zone protected mode settings is not same for all zone now here one of the ways is we manually set this and we have already seen in our internet explorer session that we go to our internet explorer and go to our settings and go to internet options and then manually go to security and then here either enable or disable for every zone for example internet zone it is enabled local internet it is disabled trusted sites again this enable protected mode is enabled so that is why it is throwing this error that it is not same for all the zones now here we will make use of our desired capabilities so here now I can say I will say desired capabilities I can give any variable name let's say caps equals new desired capabilities okay so I am just creating a object for this desired capabilities class and I have to import it from org open QS selenium remote so I have created this object and now using this object I can set the different properties for IE driver so I can here say caps dot set now here I have to see for IE driver so if I go here to this github page and go to IE driver and let me just see let me go to the section of IE driver and yes here it is so it is ignore protected mode settings so here I will say set capabilities and here the name is ignore protected mode settings let me just verify it is ignore protected mode settings yes this is right and here I will say true okay I will say true here and now the other important thing is now we have to give this capabilities whatever we have set to our IE driver instance right so I will copy this caps from here and here where wherever I am saying driver equals new Internet Explorer driver in the bracket I will add this capabilities or whatever name I have given I have given caps here so I will add caps here and similarly you can add more capabilities as well so for example I can also say caps dot set capabilities and other things like ignore zoom setting if you are getting error for this and other things as well but for now let me just check with this particular example so here you can see I have just used these two lines to set the capabilities and then using the capability in our Internet Explorer and now let me run this again I will say run as Java application and here it goes to IE yes opens google.com and now it is trying to write ABCD which is a little slower on IE maybe some version issue but it is writing ABCD it will type and then press enter 
and yes it did that and let's just wait yeah it's hit on Google search and then yeah it is working fine now and I think it closed as well yeah it has closed the browser so now it got completed successfully so this is how you can use it and of course if you are using test ng that we have already seen how to use test ng earlier so in case you are using test ng you can put all this in the setup or the before test or before suite um, annotation so for example you can see here in this one of the examples I have set this in before test in the setup I have put this desired capabilities and the same thing that I have done in this particular class okay so this is how you can set it and of course uh, this is a very simple example you can use this for web driver Firefox IE and there are so many other things for example you want to disable the pop-ups or enable the pop-ups and then you want to enable or disable JavaScript all these things can be set from here for example proxy is here and then database enable JavaScript all this you can set so that you can get a browser as per your configuration for execution so this was a practical example and let us do a very quick recap today we learned what is desired capabilities and how to use desired capabilities in selenium i hope this was very useful for you if you find it useful please like it and share it with others and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and there will be a bell icon within the subscribe button also hit that so that you can keep receiving notifications on the new videos i will meet you in the next episode thank you for watching